You're watching Middle Georgia Pride, only on 41 NBC News at 6. Established in 1846, the Byron Train Depot attracted a number of families to the area and completely changed the identity of Byron. The station was called the One and One Half Station because it's in between Macon and Ford Valley, and it's Byron's hidden treasure. 41 NBC's Dustin Wilson has more. So much of Byron's beginnings is represented here. Betsy Murdoch is talking about the One and One Half Train Station, a place where some of her ancestors grew up and worked around. Murdoch says the depot wore many hats over the years. After it was no longer the depot, it housed a lot of things, the fire department, city hall, that kind of thing. Glenda Myers, president of Byron's Historical Society, says the depot, now a museum, is the type of place she would look for while traveling. Go into a town and there'll be certain architecture that might strike my fancy and help. Gee, I'd like to go look at that. Peach distribution was a top priority in the early 1920s. As many as 65 cars would line up here to meet the anticipated need of the day. One year in the 1900s, the depot shipped 1,100 cars of peaches and 250 cars of watermelons. It was in the 20s when the depot found the greatest traffic increase, and since then, it slowed down a little bit by turning into a museum, remembering such a crucial start for the Byron community. Downstairs, we have a little museum, which is a little more specific about timelines and everything, and we have children, school children to come here. We have various uh, uh, civic meetings in the town. We even have a church that meets here on Sundays sometimes. Murdoch says the depot is Byron's hidden treasure because it shows people the history and background of the area. As people move into Byron who've not lived here before. A lot of them don't know about this and uh, if they ever do visit then they learn a lot more about Byron. They become more uh, indoctrinated Byronites. <laughs> In Byron, Dustin Wilson, 41, NBC News. Another interesting fact, the Byron train station was the second in the country to have a station agent control the movement of the train on a 24-hour basis.